AI is the latest buzzword in the world of retouching. So today we're gonna to compare three automatic skin softeners and they are Photoshop, Luminar AI, and Portrait Professional. Guys, I'm Rob Sigler and if you're new to my channel, thank you for stopping by and we talk about everything related to Photoshop. So why would anybody wanna use AI for portrait retouching? Well, if you're a volume photographer like me, you know the feeling of having several hundred faces to retouch with very little time to do it. In my opinion, every face can benefit from a little bit of skin softening, and that is the smoothing of the transitions in the tones of the skin. In these situations, the AI included in these applications can save you hours of time. So let's take a look at these three popular applications and see what they can do for you. This is the first example we're gonna work on today. You may look at this image and think, why does this need to have skin softening? She's already got probably professional makeup on and the image looks quite good. However, skin softening can eliminate some of the shadow transitions between dark areas and light areas. You can see this little dark spot right here. It, it kind of gives the image a more polished look. So the first piece of software we're gonna use is the software that you probably already have. If you're a Creative Cloud subscriber, then you've got Photoshop with the new neural filters in them, and they do an excellent job of skin smoothing. You can see when you open up the neural filters, the skin smoothing is at the top. We're gonna to turn it on, and we only have two sliders to play with, the blur slider and the smoothness slider. You can see that it's put a box around her face if you have an image with multiple faces, you can click this drop down and select which face you'd like to work on. But since ours only has one, we're obviously gonna only have this one box. Now there are two sliders. One is the blur slider and the other is smoothness. Let's turn them all the way down. The blur slider does just what it says. It adds some blur to the image. And I sort of think of this as the closest to frequency separation out of the three software packages. The blur seems to blur the detail layer and the smoothness seems to affect in frequency separation what we would call the color layer. So I frequently like to turn the smoothness way up and I don't like to do too much with the blur. If the blur is turned all the way up, then it starts to get a little bit of a glowy, um, almost fake retouched look, and I don't like that look personally. So I'll turn that down, and that looks awesome right away. So if I turn, here's before and here's after, you can see the areas where it transitions from dark to light are a little bit smoother, and overall it's giving the image a much more polished look. The downside is, look at her chest area down here. You don't see any skin smoothing going on there. So Photoshop skin smoothing only smooths the face. I'm gonna select new layer as my output and I'm gonna click okay. And now you can see the skin smoothing is on the top layer and our original image is at the very bottom. I think it's a pretty nice difference. Let's duplicate our background layer and let's bring it to the top. And this time we're gonna use Portrait Professional. In Portrait Professional, when you load an image, the AI goes through and finds the eyebrows, finds the nose, finds the lips, and of course finds the skin. And this is where the power is in this software, is that we can manipulate all of these things without having to do any selections. But today we're only talking about the skin. So I've got the skin smoothing dialog open here, and you can see we have a master fader at the top. So if we turn it all the way off, this is our original image. And as we turn it on, you can see all the sliders move with the master slider. We have several individual sliders, so we can smooth around the eyes more. We can fix small imperfections, things like thin wrinkles, fine shadows, remove the pores, remove the shine. Let's tweak these just a little bit. If your model is really shiny, you can turn on remove grease. And basically what it does is takes the very brightest parts of the image and puts a new color on top of it so that it doesn't look like it's too shiny. You have to be careful with that slider because it's easy to overdo, but I do like remove shine turned on. 
Now, unlike Photoshop, this software, Portrait Professional, can retouch other areas of the skin that are not the face, which is sort of handy. Now let's take a look at her lips. One of the things I don't like about Portrait Professional is that it seems to smooth the skin into the lips a little bit too much. If we look at our AI selection over here, it has perfectly selected the lips, and we can even tweak the edges of the lips. But when we turn on skin smoothing, it seems to blur a little bit of into the lips. Let's take a look at the lips as we go to before and after. If we view our skin area, it shows that some of the purple area indicating that it is skin softening has been painted onto the lips. And it's pretty easy to erase that, but it's a little frustrating to have to do that on every image. So we'll just erase the mask from the lips, click OK, and now our adjustments are really only affecting her skin. Here's something else I've noticed with Portrait Professional. If we look at before and after, and you just stare at her skin, the original skin tone had just the slightest amount of green in it, and the after version has shifted it a little bit more to magenta. So there is a tiny little bit of color shift when you use Portrait Professional. But overall, the skin softening looks good. I personally like this software because it does batch processing. So if I go to a school and photograph a thousand kids, I can set this up to run overnight and kind of smooth out their faces and it always looks pretty good. Let's hit the return button. We're gonna bring it back to Photoshop. Let's make another duplicate layer of our background and bring it to the top. And for this one, we're gonna use Luminar AI which again uses AI to identify the features of the face. This software allows you to adjust the eyes, adjust the lips, just like Portrait Professional, but today we're only talking about skin, so we're going to just adjust the skin. We're gonna scroll down to skin, and I'm gonna turn the amount pretty close to all the way up. Now, if she had really shiny skin, we could do some shine removal. But in this case, I don't like to do that because it sort of drags all the contrast out of the skin. There is a checkbox for skin defects removal. Let's see what happens when we click that. You can see that it removed this mole on her face. Um, we definitely don't want to do that. I like to keep things permanent on her face. Things that are temporary, we can remove. Now let's look at the before and after of Luminar AI skin softening. You can see that it also smooths the chest a little bit. So that's good. And let's look at it on her face at 100%. So here's before and after, before and after. Now while we're zoomed in at 100%, look at her hair. It also softened her hair a little bit, which I don't mind, but I would prefer if it stayed on the face more. There we go, we're gonna hit apply, and it's gonna bring us back into Photoshop. So viewing this at 100%, here is our original image. Here is our image with Photoshop softening. Here is our image with Portrait Pro softening. And here is the image with Luminar AI softening. Which do you prefer? I think I prefer the Photoshop version only because it lightens the shadows a little bit, smooths the color tone without really losing texture. I think Photoshop is my personal favorite. Let me know which one you think looks best down in the comments below. All right, let's take a look at another example. Okay, here's our next example. This model has shiny skin. It was lit with sort of a very specular light source. So we're gonna see how these three software programs work with this example. So let's start with Photoshop again. Go to Neural Filters, and it has chosen our model. Let's turn on Skin Softening. Let's take the smoothness way up and see what happens. Looks pretty good. Let's try with the blur down. And what I might do is turn the blur up a little more just to soften the texture of her skin. So here is before and after, before and after. 
her face looks great. It did absolutely nothing to her chest again. So that would take some manual retouching there, which is not a problem. But as far as speed retouching and AI, that would need to be done. That looks pretty good. Let's duplicate our background layer and let's try Portrait Professional. AI has correctly identified all the parts of the face. And again, we're only dealing with skin today. So let's try turning the master fade up a little bit. Let's remove the shine, turn that all the way up. And just for kicks, let's try remove grease. And it doesn't do a real good job. Obviously it's trying to pick the color that it uses to replace those white spots, but it unfortunately doesn't match the skin very well. And you can see that it did retouch the chest area. Okay, so here is before and after, before and after. Once again, you can see a little bit of color shift. If you look right here on her cheek, you can see that there's a little bit of green in there on the original image. And then Portrait Professional seems to add a little bit of magenta. Let's duplicate our background layer again, bring it to the top. And this time we will add Luminar to our mix. Scroll down to skin, and I'm gonna turn that almost all the way up. Let's try the shine removal. So here is before and after, before and after. Here's our original image. This is with Photoshop's AI. This is Portrait Professional. And this is Luminar AI. Which do you like better? Again, I think it's gonna come back to the Photoshop version. So one more time, here's the original. Here's Photoshop. I really like how Photoshop softens the dark areas a little bit, but leaves the texture. Here's Portrait Pro. Look at the difference on her forehead between Portrait Pro and Photoshop. Personally, I like the Photoshop version a lot better. And then here is the Luminar AI version. Let me know in the comments below which version you like better. I'd be interested in hearing your comments. I hope you enjoyed today's comparison of AI skin smoothing.